possibility that I could possibly forgive someone after many decades, but at least in my immediate mind, I would be like, no. And I don't think I ever could for a very long time. Yes. It would not happen quickly. I know that for sure. Well, for me, it would never happen. Mm. Even if I know I have to forgive that person, I'm sorry. It would be like uh, tattoo in my mind or somewhere. I don't know, but even if that person came out, like, you know, like, even if it was like after a hundred years, I'm sorry. It's still gonna be in my head, in my mind. It's my kid. What you mean? That kid could have been cleaning my room when I'm. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you were sitting here dead child. I'm doing it myself. Man, like, that kid could have been taking care of me, okay? <laughs> what if it was the only child I had? Like, I could that, have. And, you know what that I'm perspective. saying? Yeah. I think in this situation, you. It's not more so about forgiveness, it's about learning to live with what happened. Because it's not like I'm ever going to see you or really encounter you again once the child is over. Like, okay, you're guilty, you're in jail, you do you, you do me. I never really have to think about it. It's more so me learning to live with the fact that my kid is gone. You know, I feel like over the years I might forget. Like, I might be like, yeah, it happened. It is what it is. You know? Unless you're reminded of it. No, 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 What do you mean? It is your kid. You cannot forget. There's, there, there are things you cannot forget. Like your phone, you cannot forget. Your kid, is, your, your phone is like you're a kid. You don't forget you your got, phone. But you got to understand, my, my, kid, my kid is gone. What do you want me to do about it? Like, you're not going to resurrect because but, I forget I mean, him. You're, you're gone. Like, as, like, you know, and nothing is going to stop around you. But, like, saying, <laughs> saying you say, like, you're saying that you're going to forget, you know, oh, yeah, that happened. Like, no. Every day you're going to wake, wake up and you're going to remind, you know, that kid is not next to you. But so it's going to remind you of but that it's guy. The whole, thing is, the whole thing is about healing. Healing takes time. Over time, it's going to get better. You're going to cry less. It's going to hurt less. Of course, when they birth, they will around and you're like, wow, it's graduation season. They could have graduated. That stuff's that going to hurt, but it's not. you're not going to be like, man, I hate this dude. Why would you oh, do this? You know like, I, I, you're not going to think gonna like that. You're just going to be like, wow. I'm you're more so going to dwell about I the kid's mom, not so much about the person who did it. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, okay, I see what you're saying, but no, I would still blend that guy every birthday, every graduation, <laughs> and for whatever, I would also blend that guy. Like, knowing that he's alive would still be, like, you know, a big we still thing in my life. We dude, too, apparently. Oh, yeah. oh her. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it's true. But, but as a Christian, you're supposed to... I don't know, this is what they always tell you, even though it's not it's not really comforting when they say you're supposed to pray and ask God to help you forgive this person. Oh my lord, Am I lying? Am I lying for you? Am I lying for you? Like I went through stuff and I was like I'm done with people. Yeah. Honestly. I can't take it anymore. And then there's one thing God told me that we don't like we don't love people just because we expect them to love us back even if the person you hate the person that much there is one thing you should never forget to love the person the bible like god said like if someone hates you that much and you love the person back the person always remember one thing that even though he the person hates you you love him and the person doesn't know why you love the person mm -hmm. so, so anytime the person sees you it's like the heart goes up and it's like she, the person doesn't know what to say. So sometimes it's, it's a process. It's not just yes. getting up and saying, I forgive the person. So it doesn't saying, work that way. Are you saying I'm supposed to love that guy? I mean, yes, yeah, God, I know what you say. But you say <laughs> that's all I'm supposed blood. to love that person. But I mean, I know what, you know, I know what God says, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, I believe in God, but I'm saying... I don't think I would ever forgive that guy. I'm yeah. sorry. Well, see, you're, you're, oh, here's the thing, thing about grudges. You can keep them for a very long time, but then when you look back, you realize it doesn't matter. There's so much you miss out on life that could have happened. Mm -hmm. I've held grudges against people since, like, maybe middle school, and <laughs> I haven't talked to them since high school, and then now I look back at it, there have been times they've tried to reach out back to me, and I'm like, oh, whatever, I don't really care. But now I think about it, I'm like, okay. what was the point? Okay, okay, I, I get that, I get that. So if the man came to you and said, Daniel, it's not I will bring your child back. No, 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 he, no, no, he came not to you, bring the no, child he back. came to you, he you said that I was sorry. How are you, your child? Here you are living, you, here you are hating on that person, 
wishing bad on them when they are out living their life. No, what? Not even it's my kid. You. you don't understand. Yes, I do understand, but it's not gonna bring the child back. Stag, stag. Can't be oh, angry. You sentence. have a right to be angry. <laughs> but after the situation, it takes like after the situation blows over. You have to think for, about it from like a different perspective. They're not gonna bring your child back. And I get that. Mm -hmm. You can just you just have to live your life trying to be the best you that you can be. Encourage someone else. You can't just go wrong. I mean, you can, but what benefit does that give you? No benefit, but like, exactly. The waking up but in you the can't morning, live with that hatred, Daniel. I'm you sorry, can't I live think with I that hatred. Want, because man. waking up Every in the morning, day. Day. exactly. exactly. The That's morning, tired. No, waking up in the morning knowing that my kid is gone because a man was is out there killed him or her. It was just there, no, it, sorry. it's less yes, likely you, the person will still be out there. Less likely. They'll probably be in jail. Yeah, but what's in jail? They, they're living, they're eating, they're sleeping, they're reading, whatever they're they probably doing. Have their own but they're not out here living like you are. But exactly. still, they still have a life. That's Why would you put yourself in a what cage? What life do you have in prison? Oh, they, I don't know, but they're still eating. Hey, That's the thing. They're well, still eating. Y'all two are talking about two different hey. things. <laughs> That's your child. Stack, about, stack, stack, oh, stack. Hey, Ima, you got a thing, bro. That's your child. You know what I mean? That's your child, man. People kill your child, you're not playing with them. You're not gonna play. Me? Everything, man. If you get out, I don't want to do I'm going to aim you, bro. 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 you got to remember, yes, this is my child. My child is dead. Yes. You're still alive. Yes. You still have a life to live. So your job is to figure out how to heal from this. As years pass by, just like Delaney said, after 25 years, the person forgave. After, after as years go by, it's going to hurt less. You're going to cry about it less. You're going to think about it less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it's not more so forgiving the person; it's learning to live with what happened. But I think I'm gonna be able to live with the, what happened, and then I'm gonna be able to heal with you know whatever happened. But like saying that I forgive that person would never happen to me. Never. My, my thing is, I doubt you're really gonna sit here thinking about, wow, oh, this no, man, da da da, whatever, <laughs> kill my no, kid. You're no, not gonna no. be focused on the man; you're gonna be focused on your kid. This like, is I'm my saying, baby, my baby. Month, you're gonna be thinking about them. Yeah, once a month. Twice a month, I'm gonna be like, man, that man took my, my, you know, my kid's life. Like we could have been having a great time, or like the the one kid I could have. Oh, my <laughs> thing is, hey, yes. I think both of you are right, but you two are talking about two different things. Is that you're talking about forgiving the person, and you're talking about moving on with life. Yeah. You have to move on, eventually, because especially if you're like have other children, or if you have a wife or a husband, you can't make all of them suffer. Because you're also suffering over that thing. They're suffering in their own way, but you're just going to make it worse. Especially, you know, as, as a guy, I need to make sure other people are taken care of, too. Like, I might be suffering, but I have to somehow move on. That doesn't mean I forgive them, but that does mean that I have to go through my day-to-day -day life, push past this traumatic thing that happened, and still be the man that I want to be, or the woman. So I think... I, <laughs> Yeah, that, when I said that, I was like, oh no! The moment I left my mouth, I was like, Of course, of course, of course, of course. Actually, no, keep it. Yo, Jada, they've been trying to. Oh my goodness. Yeah, keep it. They've been trying to find us this whole time. Really? For me, the whole situation it just it depends because if there was a purpose, if the person that's killing my child has a purpose, because you don't you don't just kill somebody without a purpose. There's a purpose unless you have a mental problem. That's a whole different story. But if that person went out their way just to kill specifically my child, to be honest, in my opinion, I, I believe in eye for eye. <laughs> well, you could, it, it, that's, it depends how you take it. In my opinion, I don't, I don't know. That's how I see it. 
Um, but if this was like, if it was an accident or it was, if my child got caught in a crossfire, in a situation like that was accidental, that's a different story. I believe they should be punished, but I don't think that their life should be taken. But in general, in the overall, I don't even think because we're sh we're not supposed to be the ones that should decide if a, if a human decides to live or die. Because I don't think we're the judges. Um, I feel like there's a higher being that makes those decisions. So it's up to you, in my opinion. That's how I feel. Stag. Stag. Well, I'm kind of going to touch back on what Michael said. Like, if someone was to kill my child, like, like really mean to kill my child just because of either jealousy or out of anger or anything like that, then I would probably really have a problem with that. I probably would not be able to forgive that person because you specifically chose my child, the child that I sat there and I had or I was carrying for nine months. You killed my child. You took my baby away from me. You are someone else's baby, so therefore, how would they feel if my son took your life? Who are you to take anybody's life at that? So therefore, I feel like nobody can be the judge of the time that you have on this earth, but God himself. He's the one that created you as a person, so therefore, I feel like he should have the option he's going to take you or if he's going to let you be. Nobody else should. So therefore, there is no type of scenario or situation that I would actually forgive that my child is taking from me. Because have you ever felt that pain? That pain from someone being taken from me. And even anything. Even in like the smallest thing. Like, uh, say a dog or... Um, a car is taken from you your emotions go down you go through like a little roller coaster of emotions you might be sad or whatever because that's something that you used to have you're not used to not having it in your life so therefore no I wouldn't be able to forgive them but at the same time I kind of would because the forgiveness isn't for you or for them it's for me so I can move on with my life so I can make peace and really let my child go and live free you know, so I kind of feel like it's a two-sider for me.